Thank you for uh, coming today. Um, I'm very glad to be here with my colleagues. We just had a debate on the uh, despicable terror attacks by Hamas against Israel and the situation in Gaza. It remains unfathomable to me that it's so hard for the left groups in the European Parliament to unequivocally condemn the atrocious attacks by Hamas against Israel and the Jewish people. Let me therefore start by saying I fully condemn in the strongest possible terms the terror attacks committed by Hamas on 7th October 2023. Furthermore, I call on all hostages, all hostages, to be released immediately and unconditionally. These attacks, as well as the lack of a condemnation by the Palestinian Authority, have once again demonstrated that there is a real problem with support for terrorism in the Palestinian society. Time and again, we've seen the Palestinian textbooks, which include awful, despicable anti-Semitism, incitement, and the glorification of terrorism. That is why I, together with colleagues, have tabled an amendment on the EU Parliament Budget Report for 2024, requesting the Commission to not to contribute directly or indirectly to the funding of textbooks containing anti-Semitic content. EU taxpayer money to these textbooks must end. We also call on the Council and the Commission to suspend union funding to the Palestinian Authority as long as the Palestinian Authority does not clearly condemn the aggressive terrorist attacks on Israel carried out by Hamas, and as long as there is no guarantee that union funding is not being used for terrorist causes and incitement to hatred and violence, including in school textbooks. These amendments are being voted today in a few minutes, and we call on all groups to support us to be on the right side of history. And in this light, I strongly support the recent decision by uh, the Commissioner for Neighborhood and Enlargement, Oliver uh, Varheli, to review all funding to the Palestinian Authority and the Palestinian NGOs. It's high time to end the absurdity of providing funding to the Palestinians without requesting any accountability and proper oversight in return. I also welcome that my home country, Sweden, has made a similar decision alongside other EU member states such as Denmark, Czechia, Germany and Austria to name a few. Two years ago I raised to the Commissioner that the EU funding was going to the uh, Islamic University of Gaza, the Hamas hotbed for terrorism. I'm happy and I thank Commissioner Varheli once more for his resolute stance to immediately stop the funding after I raised it. Moreover, over the years, concerns have been raised consistently about funding to Palestinian organizations and their links, either directly or indirectly, to terrorism. Some years ago, Palestinian NGOs rejected and refused, I repeat, refused to sign a declaration demanded by the EU in which the NGOs guaranteed that no funding would go to terrorist organizations terrorism activities or persons affiliated with terrorist organizations. After they refused, the EU retracted and let them off the hook. Now there are reports that Hamas dug up EU-funded water pipes in Gaza and used them for the manufacturing of rockets to launch indiscriminately at Israel. How can it be? that these things keep on coming up consistently when we talk about EU funding to the Palestinians and not to anywhere else in the world. So we must demand accountability and therefore I reiterate what I, that I warmly welcome Commissioner Varheli's recent decision and he can count on my full support. Thank you.